TikTok grinder sandwich any good? That is the question we will be answering today, okay? And the recipe we will be testing is by a TikTok user. Oh, hey, I'm gray. We need one garlic clove. We're making the salad portion of the sandwich. Oh, look at you. Why is there salad? We're making a sandwich, aren't we? Well, it's not on the side. The salad is actually in the sandwich. What a what an amazing invention. We're gonna finally grind, grind? We're gonna finally shred this lettuce. We also need, oh, found this in your eyeball. We're gonna finally slice this red onion. We need mayo, fresh out of the Walmart. Okay, oh, we love a fresh jar of mayo. That's rare. Half a cup of mayo. And yes, I'm guesstimating because she didn't give exact dimensions. But you know, look at she's a Michelin star chef, so we can do a little spontaneous action. Red wine vinegar. Okay, look how beautiful it is. Looks like wine. Red wine. Imagine you try to prank someone and you give him wine or he asks you, honey, give me some wine. And you're like, oh, I have an idea. I will give them red wine vinegar. And you pour it in, he drinks it. And you're like, you didn't specify, was it vinegar or just red wine? Ha. Huh. Okay, anyways, we need a splash, one tablespoon. We need our minced garlic clove, oregano, a quarter teaspoon. We don't want it too oregano-y. A quarter teaspoon of salt. Fresh, cracked, black pepper alert. Around a quarter teaspoon of red chili flakes. A little more if you're a spicy girl. Spicy a girl like me then we're gonna do a little mixy mix we're gonna do a little mixy mix oh okay let's do a little taste test my pinky's clean okay don't worry cowabunga i think i want a little more vinegar another splash we're gonna add We're also gonna add our red onion back. What is this? It's a frisbee, okay? Makeshift frisbee, also a lid. All right, You're, you already know the drill, right guys? And we're gonna shake, 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 senora. Shake your body line. Work, 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 senora. Work it all the time. Tornado. Potato, Hurricane Katrina. Oh yeah. Okay, I need to shake it more. Round two. What other songs have shake in it? Oh, hey, just gonna hey, 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 hey. I'm just gonna shake, 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 shake. Oh, oh, that looks scrum delicious. Master Chef Miku, how's it looking? Do a little sniffy. Let's get this video to 200 likes. Yummy, huh? So you can give Miku a juicy pineapple at the end of next video. Oh, we have some Italian buns. All right, we only need one, one six inch sub for now. I'm get, we can share. I'll give you the other half, don't worry. We're gonna cut it open. All right, like so, look at that. Oh, like a book. And we're gonna remove the guts as much as possible. And you may be wondering, uh, look at you. Why is this sandwich called the grinder? Does it grind its teeth at night? Like me? Does it have bruxism? Does it not use a mouth guard? 
and the dentist yells at you because your teeth are grinding away? No. The reason why it's called a grinder is because the bread used to make this sandwich is crusty on the outside. It looks so crusty. Pretend it's crusty, okay? Once you toast it, it's crusty mango. And the inside is nice and chewy. So when you eat this sandwich, you grind your teeth. That doesn't sound appetizing, but it is. We got provolone. Oh, look at that. I feel like I'm working at a deli right now. We got one. We got two. You have to do it like this. You have to like hold it with the wax paper and then do that. The rest of the cheese, we will give it to you. Oh, you can slap it on a baby. Emergency alert. We need to add pepperoncini. Pepperoni chini peppers pickled to the salad. I completely forgot. Please forgive me, guys. Slice it a quarter of a cup, like so. And one for the road. One for the road. The road is me. Oh, tangy, spicy, salty. Deliciosa. We're gonna toast it in a 375 Fahrenheit oven until the cheese oh. is nice and melty. Time for the meats. All right. And be warned, there are a lot. All right, first up we have three slices of turkey. Oh, you're in for a marathon, guys. Next up, ham. This one was hard to find, guys. This is Soprasada salami. Interesting shape. Looks like a pine cone. Mmm. A mild salami, not spicy. Has a slight tang. Don't make it flat. Don't do this. That's boring. You have to make it fluffy. Like so. Oh, capo colo. All right, I've never had this either. It's sweet. Sweet and peppery. I can do four capicolas. We have, what is this? Prosciutto. Do the prosciutto, make it fluffy. These are the exact meats the video uses, okay? If it was just me at home, I would just use ham and salami. I won't go all out. Can this even close? I think it can. Oh, I broke it. I broke it. This is the last one, I promise. Pepperoni. Pepperoni and cheese, my favorite pizza topping. We need some Parmigiano Reggiano. Reggie boy. Just say when. When. And we're gonna pop this back into the oven until the parm is nice and melty. 375 F. Oh, look at that. Use another spoon, we have two spoons. Oh, we're rustic here in Look At Juice Kitchen. We're using spoons as chopsticks. Put the salad on top of the sandwich. If you had an assistant like sous chef Miku, her paws can help you keep the sandwich open, but she's on her beauty nap, so. Actually, I'm awake. And sous chef, look at you, forgot to add tomatoes to the sub. All you gotta do is cut the tomatoes, put some olive oil, salt, and pepper, put it on top of the meats, and my work here is done. Master chef Miku, Audi. Now we, we do this, close it, close it. Transfer onto the parchment paper. Diagonally, okay, diagonal. Squish it down a bit. Oh, it's juicy. Look at the juices flowing. Grab the end. Okay, you gotta be confident in this. One roll. Diamond in. Like so. Oh! Who ordered the grinder sandwich? You? All right. Grab your knife. 
All right, grand reveal. You see it before I do. How does it look? Kawabanga or not? Oh, this is gorgeous. <laughs> we have some chips. We have honey, Dijon, or salt and vinegar. Choose one. Which one? You want both? Okay, we can do both. All right, do a little sprinkle there. Sprinkle here and let's head to the taste test. All right, so this is the finished product and I'm super excited. Oh, that TikTok video, they said you have to drink this with a Diet Coke. Oh, we have some ice and um, uh, Let's unwrap it, shall we? All right, cheers. First bites for you. Mm, nom, nom, nom. When you first take a bite, you get hit with that spicy, creamy tanginess from the grinder salad. Oh, it does pair well with a Diet Coke. Then you chew a little. I forgot to add tomato. You see, this is what happens. One woman show, you forget some stuff sometimes. All right, we got tomato here. Tomato, tomato, we're just gonna slide it in. There we go. I knew something was missing. All right, let's take a bite again. The tomato does add a lovely juiciness. And you get all those lovely meats. Can't really differentiate from all of them. They just taste like salty, spicy, peppery meat. In the video, they dip the chip into the salad, like so. Oh! Not bad. Now here's the real question. Is this sandwich any good? <clears throat> yes, it is scrumdiliumptiously good. But would I make this again? No, no I wouldn't. Oh, <gasps> gasp. Honey, it's expensive. Six different exotic deli meats but since sliced a mango 17 and seymour plant graciously donated super thanks last video i was able to afford some of the ingredients for all of us to enjoy this beautiful sandwich so thank you and i'll see you guys next time miku gets salad eat They didn't give you cherries this time, Miku. And if you're still here, comment, Sandy, where's my witch? To confuse everyone.